Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. You should then be able to explain why percentage yield may not be 100%. Okay, I'm showing you a reaction here. In this reaction we're reacting magnesium and oxygen to make magnesium oxide. I'd like you to calculate the maximum mass of magnesium oxide that we could make if we start with 6 grams of magnesium and unlimited oxygen. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we start by calculating the amount in moles of magnesium in our reaction. The amount of substance in moles equals the mass in grams divided by the molar mass in grams per mole. We've got 6 grams of magnesium in our reaction. Looking at the periodic table, we can see that the molar mass of magnesium is 24.3 grams per mole. Dividing 6 by 24.3 tells us that we've got 0.247 moles of magnesium. The equation tells us that 2 moles of magnesium make 2 moles of magnesium oxide. This means that we can make a maximum of 0.247 moles of magnesium oxide. To work out the mass of magnesium oxide, we need to multiply the amount of substance in moles by the molar mass of magnesium oxide. The molar mass of magnesium oxide is 40.3 grams per mole. Multiplying 0.247 by 40.3 tells us that we can make 9.95 grams of magnesium oxide. Now you need to understand that this is the maximum theoretical yield of magnesium oxide we could make from 6 grams of magnesium. In practice, we rarely achieve the maximum theoretical yield for a chemical reaction. For example, not all of the reactant may react. This is especially the case for reversible reactions. Sometimes side reactions take place, making other products. And sometimes some of our product might be lost, for example during filtration. Scientists quantify the percentage yield of a reaction using this equation. The percentage yield equals the yield divided by the maximum theoretical yield multiplied by 100. Now both the yield and the maximum theoretical yield can either be in grams or in moles, but you mustn't mix them up. So you either use grams for both or moles for both. Going back to our reaction, imagine that we start with 6 grams of magnesium and our yield of magnesium oxide is 4.5 grams. We've already calculated that 6 grams of magnesium gives us a maximum theoretical yield of 9.95 grams of magnesium oxide. Dividing 4.5 grams by 9.95 grams and multiplying by 100 gives us a percentage yield of 44.23%. Coming up, I'll give you a question to try yourself. OK, here's a reaction for you. Methane plus chlorine makes chloromethane plus hydrogen chloride. A scientist reacted 12 grams of methane with unlimited chlorine. The reaction produced 15 grams of chloromethane. Calculate the percentage yield of chloromethane. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we need to calculate the maximum theoretical yield of chloromethane. So first, we need to calculate the amount in moles of methane that we start with. The amount of substance in moles equals the mass in grams divided by the molar mass in grams per mole. We've got 12 grams of methane and the molar mass of methane is 16.0 grams per mole. This means that we've got 0.75 moles of methane. The equation tells us that one mole of methane can produce one mole of chloromethane. This means that our maximum theoretical yield of chloromethane is 0.75 moles. To calculate the maximum mass of chloromethane, we multiply the amount in moles by the molar mass in grams per mole. The maximum theoretical amount of chloromethane is 0.75 moles and the molar mass of chloromethane is 50.5 grams per mole. This means that the maximum mass of chloromethane that we can make is 37.88 grams. To calculate the percentage yield, we divide the yield by the maximum theoretical yield and then multiply by 100. The yield was 15 grams and the maximum theoretical yield was 37.88 grams. Putting these into the equation gives us a percentage yield of 39.6%. Now you're going to see this reaction again in the topic on organic chemistry and you'll see that this reaction produces a lot of side products. Okay, so hopefully now you can calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. 